It's the Beatmaster. Spot up, please. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the part two of uh, uh, Making a Beat. Uh, this video, I want to show you guys how to mix a beat. I'm going to have a fantastic mixing session where this beat uh, uh, is going to uh, be a very, very nice instrumental for a song. Okay, so mixing is about creating enough space in a beat so that an artist can have uh, enough room to put the vocals in okay so this is part two of a video that i made a few days ago uh i was doing some layering of drums and melodies so make sure you go check it out and then you can come to this video and continue so i want us to mix this beat and then uh i'll play it for you guys at the end so this is going to be a fantastic mixing session. I hope that what I'm going to do is going to help you guys out there, okay? So uh, we are going to link all these instruments uh, to the mixer here. The mixer here, you can see it has nothing on it. So we're going to link all of them to the mixer. And then we are going to mix uh, balance volumes and the velocities in there so I'm going to double click right here and then I'm going to go to the mixer right here on the first channel I'm going to right click and say uh, channel routing and I'm going to say uh, root selected channels starting from this track so right there it is going to carry all my instruments and link them here um, on the mixer so that is the first step of mixing the second step of mixing you want to go right here you can see we have volumes uh, I had some uh, I had I, I tweaked some of these instruments here so I'm going to set all of to reset all of them uh, because we're going to be balancing this uh, fantastic instruments in the mixer so right here it has to be it has to be as it was previously so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm using my laptop that's why somehow these things may seem uh, to be slow so i'm going to do that I'm going to do that and you can see i used a couple of instruments um, so like that like that I had an automation that apparently I don't use I'm going to delete it and then go down here I used 28 instruments but I'm going to combine all of them to sound nicely together and I hope you guys are going to learn from that else this one this one uh -huh. i hope i have changed everything this one i hope i've reset everything perfectly good so we are going to forget about the sequence it's called the step sequencer we're going to concentrate on the playlist and on the what and on the mixer so once you're done with that, and once you've linked all your instruments to the mixer, you're going to to choose. This is how I normally start my mix. I choose where uh, we have so many instruments playing. So for this beat right here, we have so many instruments that do play here. So I'm going to highlight that section. I'm going to highlight it like that because here I have so many instruments. Um, make sure you turn the volume of your headphone or your speakers because I'm about to play this bit here and it is loud and it sounds soggy and it won't feel good. So take caution. So I hope you've turned down the volume of your headset or your speakers and now we can play and listen. <laughs> like that you can 
can hear it is so soggy we have instruments that are not balanced but we're going to make them sound fantastic okay so i'm going to, to go to the mixer i normally start mixing um balancing volumes of the instruments of my drums before i do the melodies okay so for me i normally start with the kick so make sure you're mixing at a low volume because if your volume is too high then your ears might sound not really really uh, uh clear or you won't judge the instruments perfectly okay so let us go ahead and mix i'm going to start with the kick i'm going to reduce the talking because i want to be listening to the beat and see everything combining so just watch and i hope you guys will learn from this so let's go so i'm going to start with the kick right there just watch as i combine the instruments uh and if you don't understand anywhere you can pause rewind and watch again and i uh, can ask questions down in the description you'll be able to explain
Okay, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to clean this clap. You can hear there's some sound here that I don't want. So I'm just I'm I'm just cutting it out because I don't want I don't like it, okay? So that's what I'm just trying to do. That is what we use the equalizer to do. You cut out the sounds that you don't want. But now you have to use your ear. So that is what I'm just trying to do. I started with the compressors and then now I've started uh, equalizing so to make this sound fantastic. So let's go. Okay, up to there, I like this sound. I like how this one, this clap and the snares and the kick have combined. So I can go ahead and now start adding the, and the other instruments. Okay, you can hear this uh, wood block and this snare here are fighting. So we are going to see how we can um, make this wood block to sound perfectly without fighting this snare. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. I do like that. 
um i like how that sounds uh now i'm thinking of introducing some delay on this wood block because it has some nice river reverb on it so i'm going to introduce this simple delay okay i'm going to use ping pong mode i'm just going to turn it down as i as i listen to where it sounds cool Okay, that sounds nice. On this club, I'm going to introduce some little delay also. Set it to ping pong and then turn it down as you listen to it. My delays, your delays and reverbs should be really low because once you mix the beat, they will combine, uh, they will combine or they will sound louder. So make sure they are really low good great that sounds great so let us go ahead and add in more instruments as we also balance and do what i've been doing uh some of you will ask me why are you compressing before equalizing you're supposed to equalize before you compress well it just depends with how you you do your your your, your mixing i mean your style of mixing we have people who eq first before they compress and we have people who compress before the eq and we have people who compress eq and compress again so it just depends with your style of making music so i don't have a real good answer for that so let us go ahead and add in the other instruments because these are the main ins uh, main instruments in this track so all the other percussion or uh, are just here to support uh to support this kick and the clap and right so let's add in all the other percussion and then as we listen and we balance we see how it goes so let's go My high hat is pretty sharp, so I'm going to introduce a compressor on it, but don't go so hard because the high hat, if you have a lot of compression on it, somebody is going to hear like that high hat is really straining. So just have a simple compression on it. OK, 
Okay, let us now introduce the equalizer on the hi hat so that we select the sounds that we want. You can see this is a pretty clean hi hat, so you don't need to cut out a lot of the sounds. So I'm just going to have a simple equalizer like that on it. I'm not going to compress this tambourine because it sounds clean to me and it sounds like it is balanced. So I'm just going to balance the volume of the tambourine and the hi-hat so that they don't fight. That sounds great. Let us add in more instruments. You can see how a mix comes up. Uh, so you just go from instrument to instrument as you balance and clean it out. If you're not able to get the sound pretty clean, you solo the instrument out, you clean it, and then you bring, bring it back to the mix. So let us continue adding the drums. Right here on your master track, you can add something like um, Wave Candy. And then I'm going to select what? I'm going to select a meter so that I can see how the sounds are combining to the level they are. And I'm going to bring it up. So I'm going to make it, make it taller so that you're able to see. Close this. Then you can have this right here because we are, we are not selecting any instruments right now so this is this will help you view how far uh, the mix is reaching or the your range so let us look at that that's 
that sounds nice because our range is around here so we still have enough room here before we get to the master so the mix should be around here negative six negative five and when the artist adds vocals to it she will get to up to negative four negative three so that this room that remains here is for you to add a master to the track so we are we are, we are, we are going good we're still good so let us go ahead and add more instruments to our mix. So right here we have I remembered I had a crash somewhere and it was on the other side of uh, my mixer so I just brought it closer right here you just uh, hit alt and you use the uh, arrows to to move your instrument to whichever side you'll want so I panned my crash to the right then I'm going to introduce an equalizer to it simple like that uh, you can notice on most of my drums I've not added any reverb uh, and I've only used two two what two 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 delays uh, because once I do my mixes I always uh, root all my uh, percussions to one to one channel so just do like that and I give it a name drum bass all right so I'm going to root all these all these patterns to this channel whereby I'm going to add some saturation some reverb and some delay just to make it pop up a little bit so I'm going to lower this to around I want it to be at 50% volume. Then now we route everything to this. So we can give it a different color. We can give it a different color. We can get a bright color so that we don't forget that is our bus. Get a bright color. Bright. Uh oh. That is a bright color. Let us do chocolate. Like that. So that we can know this is our drum bus. You see? So we route all this together but now to this pattern I'm not going to roll out uh, my kick because the kick and the bass I'm going to to make a drum bass for them so that I can be able to balance uh, so that I can balance them together on that bass but for the other percussions I'm going to route them to this channel I'm just trying to share my tricks what I do in studio to make good beats that you guys and my artist all over can enjoy so everything is routed on them right here we have other instruments that I've not mixed in but I'm going to route them into this channel like that so that is my it's called my drum bass okay so I'm going to mute it for now finish uh, adding these two drums these three patterns uh, to the mix and then now I show you how we shall tweak 
uh, some some uh, some mix or some some effects on this drum bus so let's let us mix in these three instruments here Okay, those ones sound like they've balanced, but on this clap I'm going to add some reverb because I want it to I want it to really slap. <laughs> or should I say I want it to really clap. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to add that the delay and I'm going to reduce the bass and I'm going to add the decay time. Like that. Now I'm going to play with this volume so that it gives me something that I want. So let us go ahead do that. I like that. I'm going to add some delay. The good thing about mixing you can you can tweak this effects on the volumes and the compressors until you get the sound that you want so don't don't stress yourself with mixing so let us play and hear that clap I've added effects to that clap. I'm going to compress the bass that sounds there. Boom! So I'm going to add a, a strong compressor on it. Fantastic. Okay. So next, I'm going now to work on my drum bass. Just make sure your volume is below or really low. <laughs> you have some friends of mine in this country who cannot say R and L. So they'll be like Lily Lily instead of really, really. <laughs> so just remember that that's a little bit funny. Okay. So I'm going to show you how 
to tweak your drum bass so the first thing i normally add on my drum bass is some saturation so i'm going to use the fruity limiter now i'm going to play this drums and add some saturation to it so that we can maintain an equal volume on the percussions and the drums That sounds nice. Mm, I feel like I don't need to add any reverb and delay at this point. Maybe as I as I finish this mix, but I remember I have some I do have some 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 instruments, some percussion that I've not mixed in. So let me just find them where 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 they are where they are playing from. just find them i think is it the roll or what let us find them let us find them let us find them so that we don't forget to mix in any instruments that is what i was finding it is just a roll is an electric kit that i rolled somewhere here at the start so we need to mix them listen to them let us solo them out okay so let us mix let us let us let us eq let us eq Those ones just sound cool that way. What I'm just going to do is turn down the volume a little bit. A little bit like that. And then now. Um, let us take them to where the other instruments are. You hit Alt and the arrow button until uh, you reach to the point that you want. So let us go ahead and do that. right there and then I'm going to route them to the drum bus okay we have some guys fighting right there mm-hmm we have some guys fighting right there let us some guys fighting right there We have some guys fighting right there. Let us listen in again. Okay. I think they sound cool. Just turn down the volume a little bit. Okay, to my drum bass, after adding saturation, I'm going to add some little bit compression to the percussion. Uh oh, let me use the fruity limiter. I really love the fruity limiter, it is my favorite. Let us add some little bit of compression.
simple like that simple simple like that so that is how to equalize and balance out drums and percussions in fl studio this is a part two of a video that we made the layering of drums and patterns and and melodies you can check out part one then come back check this part two and then i'm going to do a part three whereby i'm going to be adding all the melodies to these uh, drums and percussions so make sure you check it out uh meanwhile thank you for watching i've been your one and only favorite scatter plates so i'm going to play these percussions and then i'll see you in the part three of this video let's go <laughs>